To begin this second video, I'll finish setting up the upper wheel's elevation system. I screw this piece in place, as well as these other two that will serve as guide. Here, I'll mark the position of these screws, and now I'll use a bit 1mm less thick than the screw, so I can thread the plywood later. Now I'll continue working on the sanding table. I cut this piece like this, and having tilted the router, I do this milling that will allow me to tilt the table up to 45 degrees. Here I'll do some drilling, using a bit the same diameter as the screw I'll use as shaft. I mark the other hole and drill with a bit 0.5 mm less thick than the screw. Now I lock the table in place with this screw on the top, this metal bracket and this other screw in the back. This is the piece that will lock the table at an angle. I mark its position and screw it in. Having made sure the table is aligned with the belt, I drill this hole. I introduce a threaded insert and its screw. Now I cut and drill this L-shaped metal angle that will act as a stop for the sander. After taking the table out, I make this rebate and screw the metal angle in. I cut the sanding belt in half like this. and put it in its place, making sure the direction is correct. I tighten the upper knob a little. We needn't tighten the belt too much. I check if everything turns as it should, 
With this other knob, I can correct the position of the sanding belt. Having made sure the sanding belt is in perfect alignment with the table, I'm going to run a few tests. And it looks like everything is working smoothly. This kind of sander is very useful when it comes to sanding this kind of pieces. And by tilting the table, I can make bezels like this. To avoid wasting time looking for the Allen key, I'm going to place it here like this. And now, I'll check how fast we can replace the sanding belt. First, I loosen both screws on the table. Now, I loosen the belt and these two other screws on the side lid. The operation is pretty fast. That's all for today. In a few days, I'll upload a video of how to make the thickness sander. Look forward to it.